Welcome. This should be one of the first videos you're watching for Ceramics One. Uh, this is the video on how to wedge clay. Wedging clay is very important to get all of the air bubbles out of the clay before you start working with it, especially if you're working on the wheel. All right, so I'm gonna take this large chunk of clay. You're gonna be starting with a much smaller piece um, because you, you don't need this much clay, but I'm doing a large chunk of clay for the video. As you start wedging, this is called ram's head. You're gonna lift the clay up on the edge, and then as you push down, you're pushing down with both your palms and forward. And you repeat this, lift the clay up on the end, roll it down and push, lift the clay up, roll it down and push, and I'm going to speed up just a bit. Now wedging is all about physics. You want to use your weight and rock your body. You can see it um, rocking my body as I go. This is going to make it much easier. If you're just trying to use your wrists, uh, you're going to be not, it's going to take a lot more effort and you're going to hurt your wrists. So use your whole body and use your arms for the pressure rather than your wrists. Now, as you start going, your the log of clay here is going to start getting bigger. So try to keep it forced into the center so your log of clay doesn't get too long. Now that I've been doing that for a while, I'm going to just rotate it so you can see this side. This is why it's called ram's head. You get this little ram-like head here and the two horns out on the side. Um, so that's why it's called ram's head. But from the side, you'll see that the clay is spiraling around in a circle like that. So here it is kind of from the side so you can see the way that I'm doing that. And again, you're not pushing forward so much as you're pushing down and forward at the same time. Now, after you've done this maybe a hundred times or so, and you've got your clay really nicely wedged, you can start to roll it kind of into a big coil so that you kind of get any of the last little lumps out. And that would be your finished wedging. Okay, and then you can cut this piece into little chunks for your uh, pottery work or for your table work. Okay, that is how to do the ram's head wedging. Now, after this video, directly watch the next video, which is spiral wedging. And that's the one that I like students to primarily use because it helps the clay get prepared for the wheel, okay?